Hey everybody, it's Christina from Creations with Christina. Welcome back to the 10th video, which will be the final video in our Cricut Design Space tutorials. Today we're going to be talking about the print and cut. I'm not going to go through all of the steps on how to actually send to the printer, but I'm going to take you as far as we can go before I have to um, turn my machine on. So let's get started. We're going to do a little searching for some images that are available in the print and cut feature. So we're going to go ahead and hit images and I'm going to filter my images. So I'm only looking at ones that are available in the Cricut Access, ones I've purchased, and then I also want to make them so that they're a printable. So this shows us all of the images that I've selected and filtered, and we could just kind of scroll through here and see what we might want to use to play with here. So let's see. Let's go with this adorable tree here. We're going to go ahead and hit insert images. We can go ahead and stretch this out to however we want it. And that is all set. That's really all you have to do with getting a print and cut. Now, in a previous video, we talked about how to flatten images. So let's just review that one. We're gonna go into our images again, and let's find another Christmas themed. I'm gonna go ahead and clear our filters. And let's just type in Christmas. Actually, let's go to categories. And we're gonna look for the category of Christmas which is in here somewhere. Did I just pass it out, didn't I? Christmas. All right. Oh, we got to clear this. Christmas. Okay. Let's pick something that we might want to edit and flatten down for print and cut. Let's see. So I'm just going to go ahead and select these cute little mittens. We're going to go ahead and insert the images. And we can, again, change the sizes. Now this one is a cut feature. We want to actually flatten this so that it is a um, printable. So we're just going to go ahead and hit flatten and it automatically makes it into a print and cut. And now let's go ahead and choose one more image that we might want to use. Let's see, we've got mittens. Maybe we should go with I like this merry and bright. We're going with the Christmas theme here. So let's go ahead and hit insert images. And this one is already a print and cut feature. So we don't really have to do anything with that. So once you have everything that you want on your mat ready to go, we're just gonna go ahead and click on make it. So once everything's loaded onto your mat, as you can see, it took all of the images that I had selected and set them and arranged them onto an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. What you would do is go ahead and send this through your printer. I do have one on here that is a purchase and I believe it's this Merry and Bright. So let's hit cancel and I am not ready to purchase that yet. So let's just leave it the way it is with the two images and we'll hit make it. And none of this should be purchased. So once it's on here the way you want it, you can go ahead and hit continue and it's going to ask you to send it to your printer. Now, I don't have a printer set up with this, this computer, so we're just going to go ahead and say I've already printed it. It's going to ask you, and it's trying to detect my um, Cricut machine, so it's not going to detect that either, which is it's not hooked up to this computer either. So we're just going to, it would ask you to set your material. You can pick, you know, if you're doing it in vinyl, or if you did it on a vinyl, the print and cut vinyl, you can uh, select that, and you would just go ahead and print it. So. That's a really quick tutorial. I'm sure I will be doing more print and cut videos in the future, but I just wanted to kind of give a quick walkthrough on it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video series. I will link to all of the videos down below in this video, and I will also be creating a separate blog post over on my blog, creationswithchristina.com, and listing all of the 10 videos that are in this series. Stay tuned, because as I, as I, go about and start playing more and, and start making projects, I'm sure I'll be coming back with more videos on the Design Space program. Thanks everybody for watching. If you're new to my channel, subscribe and hit that little bell so you can be notified when I post new videos. I'll catch you all in the next video.